And why is that fly got off just, oh my god, it's a wasp. There's literally a huge wasp on my window. Be up here. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then hello, thank you for tuning in on this video. My name is Lucy. So today I created this autumnal sort of autumn vibes brown cut crease with a brown lip. I don't really know how I'm going to have worded the title of this video yet or what I've called this look but it's something brown, it's something neutral so... If you guys have watched any of my previous tutorials, you guys would know that I love a bit of colour on my eyes and I'm always being asked to use more brown and neutral tones. So I thought I'd create this look today. It's inspired by an artist on Instagram called cle.makeup. So this is what I came out with. As well as creating this look, I did decide to ask on my Instagram for you guys to send in some questions so it could be more of a sort of chatty video. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about me or see how I created this look, then please keep watching the video. So I thought I'd just save some time by already having my brows done. If you guys want to see how I do my brows then I've included it in some of my other tutorials but for today I'm just going to focus on the eyes. Also please ignore that my hand looks like this. Um, I'm trying to take off my nails but it's a very long process because some of them will not budge so just bear with that if you end up glancing at these throughout the video. So my inspiration for the look I'm going to do today is actually by an artist called CLE.makeup on Instagram. He created this beautiful brown sort of smoky cut crease. So you guys ask all the time if I can include more neutral tones and warm brown tones in my looks. So I'm going to do something a bit like that today. So as always I'm starting by priming my eyes using the P. Louise base. I don't even need to say it anymore because you can guess what I'm using. But this is in the shade 1 because I'm very pale and need a very pale eye base for the colours to pop on top of. Now I'm taking the Stacey Marie in collaboration with Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette and I'm just starting with the shade Rowdy on my Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. So I've just quickly asked over on my Instagram story for you guys to send in some questions, anything you want to know about me so we can make it into a bit more of a chatty video because um, all my videos at the moment are sort of just heavy sort of tutorial based and I want to make them a little bit more chatty and I want you guys to get to know me a bit better so I'm just going to wait for some questions to come in and then we'll start answering them. I just scratched my face and it's left like marks, looks like I've been attacked by an animal. Okay, so I've just had a question come in on my Instagram saying, what would be your advice for anyone who wants to start up their makeup page? Okay, so this is actually one of the questions I get asked more than anything whenever I do a poll or just in general, I get DMs all the time. Um, I think it's so important to know the right reasons behind why you're starting the page. A lot of the time the people who are asking me um, about starting their page ask, how do I get PR? How do I get free stuff? Blah, blah, blah. And I think it's so important to know that that's not the reason you should be starting your page. You should be starting it because you've got a passion and you want to take your passion further. Also, if it's a case of being scared about what anyone else is going to say, you really, really cannot live your life being afraid to do something you want to do because of what other people are going to think. And I know that's so cliche to say and everyone says it all the time. But it's so true. You should literally do something you love for you, not for anyone else. Besides that, I think if you're starting a makeup page, it's important to go out of your comfort zone. I think you've just got to be brave and bold. And if there's something you look at and you think, God, I'd never be able to do that, just try it. What's the worst that's going to happen if you just try it? Because you never know, you could be amazing at it. The next shade I'm going in with is Basic. And I'm taking that on my Makeup Addiction Controlled Blender Brush. And I'm just going to blend out that dark brown. So the next question I've got says, what's your favourite part of being an influencer and not the fans? So I still can't wrap my head around the word fans because I really don't think that I can call them that at all. I think they're just supporters in my eyes. Um, and also being called an influencer is still something quite weird to me, but I suppose that is the word for it, I guess. My favorite part about being an 
influencer um, is definitely just being able to motivate and inspire people to do makeup and to you know continue their makeup journeys or even start their makeup journeys um, I get an overwhelming amount of beautiful and like lovely DMs saying how I've been able to inspire them to create new looks or I've motivated them to keep going and stuff like that and it's just the most emotional thing like I literally get emotional reading the sweetest DMs it's just I think that's definitely my favourite part about it. I have another question that says, what is the biggest goal that you want to reach in the next five years? I would really like to, I'd really like to continue be doing what I'm doing. I'd like to be continuing with YouTube videos and hopefully I'll be going somewhere with my YouTube videos, but I mean, only time will tell with that. Ideally one day I'd like to be able to stop working my normal job and make make up my full-time job I know that's so again cliche everyone says the same thing but it's true like what's better than being able to do your passion and your hobby as your full-time job I mean that is just the dream is it not non related to makeup I'd like to have moved out I'd like to have traveled to most places around the world or at least you know a few I'd like to have gone traveling and obviously I'd like to be financially stable with whatever I'm doing and generally just be happy I just aspire to have a happy future and I really enjoy what I do I think that's my main goal for the next however many years so I'm just re-deepening up the crease using that rowdy shade that we used earlier. But I've just had another question come in asking, what made you start your page in the first place? So a lot of people nowadays are inspired to start their pages from either other influencers or genuinely, you know, just having a passion for it and that's exactly what I did in the beginning so I only actually started my makeup page last May May 2017 so I've only had it sort of just over a year but at the time I didn't really you know know a lot of makeup influencers I watched obviously the classics like Nikki and James and um, sometimes like Laura Lee and all those sort of people on YouTube but I wouldn't say they influenced me to start my page. The real reason I started it was literally just because I played around with makeup when I got home from school and in my spare time and I had so many pictures of it on my camera roll that I just wanted a place to store it. So that's the main reason I started my account. And in the beginning, I actually left it super private. Like I literally had about four friends following it for about a month and I was just too scared to do anything with it. Like I didn't, I didn't want to make it public. I didn't really want anyone seeing it. I just had it there for anyone to find. And eventually I made it public and then it just grew and grew and grew. So I was so lucky with my, you know, follower journey and with my whole makeup journey. I've been absolutely blessed for it to have worked out the way it has. But that's, yeah, that's really the reason why I started it in the first place is literally just because I had loads of pictures that I wanted to put somewhere. So I'm just going to start by tracing out my cut crease shape with a Q-tip and some makeup remover like I always do. But someone has just asked me, give us two products you could not live without and two products you would drop from your makeup kit. For me, I think this is quite an easy question because on a day-to-day -day basis, I actually don't wear makeup at all. So to be honest with you, I could probably easily just drop my makeup kit full stop. But if I was to choose two products I couldn't live without, it's definitely brow gel. I love a good brow gel. And probably also um, mascara. I'd say mascara because not that I wear it every day, but obviously if I was to only have two products in my life, I could make my eyebrows look bushier and full. And then obviously mascara just tops off a look. So I feel like I'd choose those. And two products I'd drop from my makeup kit are very easy, blush and lipstick. Um, blush just because I don't tend to wear it very often. If I'm honest, I just forget that blush is a thing. So I bronze and highlight and then that's it and lipstick just because I hate the feeling of lipstick on my lips. I easily go, I could easily go without lipstick in my life. 
Now I'm just going to begin to cut my crease in a half cut crease semi-circular shape using the P. Louise base in the shade 0 and my Zoeva 144 large concealer brush as always. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't um, talk whilst I was doing my cut crease, everyone who's tried a cut crease before would know how much concentration is required so I didn't feel like I could have answered a question properly whilst doing that. So I've finished doing that now and I'm just taking the white eyeshadow from the Sample Beauty The Cult Palette and I'm just going to pack that over where I've put the concealer. <music> Then I'm taking the Morphe Coffee Gel Aligner. This is like a deep brown shade. It actually looks like black on the eye, but it is a dark brown. And I'm just gonna take that and line my lash line. So somebody has asked me, do you have your own car and since when can you drive? So yes, I do have my own car. I own a little um, baby blue Kia Picanto and it's actually been, ooh, hairs get stuck everywhere. <laughs> um, it was a year since I passed my test um, last week, I think. So I've been driving for just over a year. For my foundation today, I'm taking the Maybelline super stay foundation in the shade 03 true ivory but to thin it out a little bit and give it more of a glowy look i'm just going to mix it with the benefit high beam underneath So someone has said to me do you prefer doing just eye looks or full face ones um so primarily I like doing just eye looks because I feel like that's where most of my sort of talent lies is in my eye looks um, but I do really enjoy when other people especially do full face looks I think they're so artistic and creative with their ideas um, I would love to get into doing some more full face looks I just genuinely don't really think I execute them very well I think it takes a lot of practice to be able to like draw all over your face and you know do the full face looks um i don't know i personally also just prefer doing eye looks because i'm lazy and they're a lot easier to do and a lot quicker to do but um yeah i like doing both really i just don't really do full face looks all that often I'm taking the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Zero Extra Fair underneath my eyes and then I'm going to set it in place with some powder. So to warm up my face a little bit, I'm just taking the Rosewood Bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking that through my cheekbones and along my forehead. Someone has asked me, if you were to come out with a makeup line, what would you come out with first? So I think that the sort of classic answer to that for most people would be lashes. But honestly, for me, I'm more of an eyeshadow person than anything else. So I think I'd like to bring out an eyeshadow palette. I'd probably bring out something colourful knowing me. But honestly, I don't really know. I think it's hard to tell what you would do until you have the opportunity to do it. Because there's a lot of sort of factors that contribute into it. But I think I'd probably go for eyeshadow palette. For my highlighter, I'm actually going back to one of my first makeup products I ever bought myself, which is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter from The Balm. Um, I've recently sort of rediscovered this um, when I was sorting through my makeup drawers and I actually really used to love this highlighter. <clears throat> my voice went funny there. Okay, so my lashes are now on. These are the Style Ginger Biscuit from Biscuit Lashes. You guys may already know my girl Shazni, aka SCL Beauty, has brought out her own lash range called Biscuit Lashes. Oh, and of course I had to go ahead and support her. So I bought this pair in the Style Ginger Biscuit and I am literally obsessed with them. I will leave her Instagram and her YouTube handles um, in the description bar below. So please go and check her out and check out her lash range because they are honestly stunning and she is doing so well with it. I'm so proud.
So with my under eyes, I'm just going to start by taking the same gel liner I used on the top, which is Coffee from Morphe, and I'm just going to take that in my waterline and then blend the colours underneath my eye. My eye is super itchy up here and I can't get it. I'm gonna pretend like I'm scratching it and hope it goes away. <laughs> and to finish off my eye look, I'm just taking the OPV glitter in the shade Decision and I'm just gonna pack a little bit on my inner corners to make my eyes really pop. And finally, to finish off my lips, I'm just going to outline and fill in my lips using a nude lip liner and then go over them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Luna. I've decided that lip combo looked a bit too peachy. I got it all over my teeth. It looked too peachy and orange coloured, so I'm going to go in with something a bit more darker and more brown. Instead, I'm going to try the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Teddy. My love, if you feel so this is my finished look right here i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to call this video or what i'm going to call this look but it's something sort of autumnal and brown and yeah <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed watching how I created this look and also getting to know me a little bit better. If you guys do want me to do a fully blown sort of Q&A video or one of the assume something about me videos, then please let me know in the comments because I feel like that might be quite beneficial for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. Before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uploads in the future from me. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. It's at LSG Makeup. I'd really appreciate if you could go and support me over on there. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!